Hello everyone, it is Tuesday, September 28th, 2010, and this is your daily dose of reptile and amphibian <coughs> news. <coughs> yes, yes, that's right, you heard right. Somebody not too long ago sent me a message asking me or telling me I should do amphibian news as well. I put a poll on the website and it was unanimous, 100% of the voters said yes I should. And on top of that, an older poll on the website, about 80% of voters wanted longer videos. So I figured we'll put the two together. You're not losing any of your reptile news, you're gaining amphibian news. So um, let's get right on to it and try this. Apparently in Texas we have another dog that was attempting to defend one of its uh, family members from a rattlesnake and suffered a bite on the face. Apparently a family found a rattlesnake in their yard when Vandy, a boxer, got between the snake and the baby. The father got everybody into the house and went out and got rid of the snake, but they later found that the dog was being lethargic and his face was swelling. He was taken to a vet and given anti-venom and has recovered and is back home. And officials in North Carolina, where they claim has the largest diversity of salamanders in the world, are attempting to link salamanders between the populations and prove that the groups are related. And a 28-year-old man was bitten by a cobra in Delhi. Apparently this happened at 2 a.m. today, their time. By the time authorities got there and got him to the hospital, he was declared dead. And the pet trade is saying that new government regulations will not save the frogs. For those of you that watched the Sacramento Reptile Show review videos that I did, you'll see in the very first video, Andrew Wyatt was talking about how the government is trying to restrict, I believe it was the interstate trade of all exotic frog species. Now, if you ask me, I have a very personal problem with anything that, that restricts the pet trade. Uh, most people... I, I believe that the pet trade actually helps and, and doesn't hurt the, uh, the wild populations. People will go to a pet store or a breeder or a retailer or something to get their animals rather than taking them from the wild. And I always say, most breeders always say, everybody always says captive bred is the best way to go. And a three meter long crocodile was found dead, apparently choked on trash. They found him with packing tape wrapped tightly around his neck. He has no other signs of injuries such as gunshots or anything and they believe that he just got the tape wrapped around his neck and choked to death. They're saying this is why it's very important that while people are out that they pick up their trash before they leave. And scientists are starting their first coordinated effort to locate a hundred species of amphibians that are thought to be extinct or near extinct. The search will take place in 14 countries on five continents they believe that if there are any of these thought to be extinct amphibians around that they're living in very remote locations far away from civilization. And some Florida residents, about 4,000 of them were without power for two hours when some utility crews were doing some work on an underground damaged line and a snake crawled into a switch and caused a short circuit. A Progress Energy spokesperson said that not all 4,000 people were without power at the same time and like I said, two hours later, power was restored to everybody. Which brings us to our question of the day. What do you think about including amphibians in the news? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you not care? Was this video way too damn long for you? Just let me know. Leave a text comment or a video response below. And don't forget to click on the subscribe lizard. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other.